I'm president of the Friends of Nancock School. I became involved with the Friends because of being an alumni and I love the school. I love the years that I was here. I have a real connection with the school. About a hundred years ago, I married an Eastern Shore man and moved to the Eastern Shore and taught school in this very building. Somebody asked me, what did I feel when I walk in, walk in this place? And I, you know, I said, I feel the same thing I did when I walked in, when I had to go to first period class. You can just feel the, I don't know, it's like the walls are talking to you. The guys practicing for football, home economics, the smell coming out of the, the oven. Good, good memories, very fond memories. The Friends of Anangok School was started back when the county no longer used this as a school and the town did not have the funds to have it opened and we were given the task to come up with a way that we could sustain it. All the way from little people playing soccer to bicyclers beginning and ending a ride here more and more people, I think, are coming to understand what the potential is for this property. We want this to be a community and cultural center, not only for Anangkot, but for the whole shore. Up to this point, we have been sustaining the building. Now we need to make the improvements to take it to another step. We need several things. We need a new roof, uh, first of all. And then the heating system and the air conditioning system are antiquated and uh, very costly to run. So the building uh, is uh, a little bit of a dinosaur right now, and we're hoping to get it upgraded to you know modern standards. This was such an incredible place of energy. And we are finding out that it's taking a lot of energy um, to make this project come to fruition. So we need all the support we can get to keep us going. Well, Nancock School in general is a large part of the community. It's part of the Eastern Shore. Um, we have our soccer fields next door and a lot of our Cub Scouts are part of the Acmec Soccer League. You know, humans need recreation. And when, when, there, when this space isn't available, you end up trying to find somebody that has an open space to, to play. And then, you know, it's not organized. And when you get people in here, it's, you know, you're getting people familiar with the name, you're getting parents that are coming in. It's really a sense of community. It's what it is. It's community involvement. It keeps everybody together. And again, without it, where would that happen? You know? Um, I've been working at the Anancock School for about five years now. It's just a really great space with high ceilings and I get lots of light. It's like kind of the paradise of studio space. There is a relationship between the town and the sale of art in the town. I think it would be wonderful if the building were improved to the point where it attracted people to come here and the artists could sell their things out of their studios. The Eastern Shore Watermans Museum has been in the historic Anancock School since December of 2013. Everything we have in here has a personal connection to the Eastern Shore of Virginia. We do have uh, some locals that come here, but we do get a lot of tourists who like the area, who like the history, so it's a really good draw. So our robotics team, they learn the skills that they would need to, to become entrepreneurs and to you know, create their own products. We operate kind of like a community workshop. So anybody, whether they have the resources at home or at their school or not, they can come in and participate in these really state-of-the-art kinds of activities. Having a place like this in the community where they can come and get their hands dirty and practice and be a team is, I think, invaluable for the community. And we really couldn't do it without a home, um, which is the historic Hancock School. Master Naturalist is, is a state-sponsored program that uh, builds a core of volunteers and helps with public projects. The nice thing about being out here at Nancock School, we do have this really nice 
outdoor classroom. Friends for Nankai School have, have helped us in this way, give, provided us this, this space to work in. We work on this project because we love this school, we love this community, and we know what this can be for the community. It, it's embedded into us that this is why we want to restore it. I went to Parksley School, and of course Parksley School was built about the same time as Nancock High School was, and Parksley School has been torn down. And of course, although Parksley and Nancock were certainly rivals during the day, you know, we're happy that this school is still, this building is still standing. It represents a, an important part of Eastern Shore history, and it certainly represents an important part of a Nancock history. This is OHS. This is what we were. Well, we rubbed elbows when we changed classes, when we went down to lunch, when we went outside for physical education. Everybody needs a place where you can come together. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing for me if I knew that I, in some way, helped further that sense of community by preserving a place where people could come and do that? As a town council member, I, th I think this, the community center like this uh, would benefit the community immensely. We don't have any facilities like that. The town doesn't have the uh, resources to, to, to do anything like this. The Friends of the Nancock School have really stepped up and, and helped the town by, by maintaining the building, and hopefully their, their plan will enable a cultural, recreational uh, center like this to, you know, to fruition. I am a product of this community. I'm a product of this facility. I used to play soccer here when I was in grade school, and my son is currently playing soccer now. So therefore, this whole entire community really benefits from having this facility being updated.